This is the Avantri Opera, wireless headphones for TV with no lip sync delay and a two-in-one transmitter charging dock. In this video, you will find these contents. First, we will go over the Opera's features, what you'll find in the box, setting up, connecting to your TV, adding a second pair of headphones, using with an external TV speaker, charging, and the accessories and warranty of the Opera. Introducing the Avantri Opera. The Opera is a long-range Bluetooth 5.0 headphones and transmitter set for TV, designed to help you hear your TV better. Let's take a look at the Opera's transmitter. On the front is the power switch. Below that is the front LED. On top are the charging pins, which you can use to charge the headphones. On the back of the transmitter, you will find the lock button the input format switch, the input ports for your TV, the output ports for your external speaker, and the DC in power port. On the headphones, you will find the call button, which you can use to answer and end calls, the EQ button, which you use to switch between sound modes, the mute switch, which allows you to mute the headphones during annoying ads, and the aux port. On the other side are the volume up and down buttons, the play button, the power switch, and the USB-C charging port. Inside the headband are the charging pins for use with the charging dock. Here's what you'll find in the box. Inside the box, you will receive the Opera Bluetooth headphones, the Bluetooth transmitter, an optical audio cable, a 3.5 millimeter aux cable, a 3.5 millimeter aux to RCA adapter, and two USB-C power cables. Here's how to set them up. First, connect the dock to a power source using the USB-C cable provided. Power on the dock and the headphones by sliding the switch on both of them to the on position. They'll automatically connect together and the LEDs on both will turn solid blue. The Opera works with any TV on the market. There are three ways to connect the Opera to your TV. Optical, 3.5 millimeter aux, and RCA. Check your TV's audio output port. Which one do you have? Please pick one, only one. If you have an optical out port on your TV, connect the optical cable to the OPT in port on the top. Then slide the input switch to OPT and connect the other end to the optical out port of your TV. Next, go to the sound settings menu on your TV. First, set the TV audio output to optical, and then change the audio format to PCM or stereo. If your TV is one of the following brands, and you're having trouble setting the sound format on your TV to PCM, go to the Avantri website, where we have detailed steps for each TV brand. If you decide to go with aux, insert the aux cable into the aux in port on the top. Then, slide the input switch to aux and connect the other end to the aux out port of your TV. And make sure you set your device's audio output to headset. If you have a TV with red and white audio ports and they are marked as audio out, please utilize the RCA adapter and auxiliary cable provided to connect the opera. Insert the cable with the adapter into the aux port on the top and connect the other end to the RCA out ports on your TV. And please make sure that you select external speaker in your sound settings menu. If you have a more complicated TV cable setup or are still having trouble, please consult our website FAQs for more step-by-step -step instructions. You can add any Bluetooth wireless headphones to the Opera but we recommend using Avantri brand headphones to take advantage of the Opera's low latency feature. If you'd like to connect a second pair of headphones after the original pair has connected, get the second pair of headphones into pairing mode. Please see your headphones user manual regarding pairing mode. Hold the power switch of the transmitter at the pair position until it starts flashing red and blue. 
give them a few seconds to connect. When successfully connected, the LED on the transmitter will turn solid blue. If you are having trouble reconnecting your two pairs of headphones, please consult our website FAQ for more assistance. If you have a soundbar or stereo AVR, connect it to the output port on your Opera transmitter. Now you can get simultaneous audio through the headphones and the soundbar or AVR. Please note that you must use the same connection type to bypass the external speaker and your TV. For example, if you use an optical connection to connect the Opera to the TV, you must also use an optical cable to connect the Opera to your speaker. There are two ways to charge the headphones. The first option is to use the transmitter dock. With the transmitter plugged in, line up the charging pins of the headphones and the transmitter and place the headphones on top. The LED indicator on the transmitter dock will turn red when charging and turn off once charging is complete. The second option is to use a USB-C cable. You may use the USB cable included to connect the headphone to a power source such as a USB port or a wall plug. The headphone battery can run up to 35 hours on a full charge, more than enough for a full day of binge watching. You can buy any accessories that you need on the Avantree website, including charging cables, audio cables, additional headphones, and more. All Avantree products have a 24-month warranty when purchased directly from Avantree.com. If you purchase through other channels such as Amazon, you can extend the warranty to 24 months by registering on our official website. Still not sure what to do? Click the link in the description below and visit our support site for more step-by-step -step instructions. If you think this video is helpful, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell to stay notified on our new product launches. Thanks for watching.